this is uh, especially pretty from YouTube and um, I just wanted to address something um, something happened to me today at school that absolutely offended me but of course you know seeing as I go to a nice Christian school I have to put on this facade and tell the teachers exactly what they want to hear which is complete crap because um okay I personally I'm a very huggy person, okay? I'm a very huggy person. So, I hug my friends quite a bit. And they hug me back, and they don't mind, okay? Now, the second thing I want to establish right now is that I am straight. I like boys. I have pictures of boys. You know, famous boys. I'm not a stalker, but, you know. And... You know, I have a crush on a guy at school, you know, like, I'm not by any means lesbian at all, okay? Um, but some teacher at my school decided that I was. And they voiced that to the counselor. And so today at lunchtime, the counselor approached me and asked me to come to come and talk to her in her office, which, you know, is okay. I like the counselor. Me and her have been buddies since, you know, junior high. I'm kind of one of those losers who, you know, befriends the teachers, but whatever. Okay? So, um, yeah, anyway. So, she said that I have offended some people with my hugging my friends, my showing my affection for my friends as a friend, as a sister kind of thing to my friends, and it offends people, apparently, and makes them think that I'm a lesbian. So, for any of you people who claim yourselves to be Christians, the Bible says that even Jesus befriended the gays, the sick, the lepers, the outcasts of society. So what the heck is wrong with me hugging other people? There is nothing wrong with not that I am, but there's nothing wrong with being homosexual. Homosexual people are just people who have chosen a different lifestyle from the rest of us. And for anyone to go and claim that just because I hug my friends in the morning that I am a lesbian, that's completely ridiculous. And I have something to say to the people who do say that. You have two options here. You can not look, or you can take the tree out of your ass and accept it for what it is. Those are your options. Pick one. I don't care which. But just, like, stop making stupid assumptions about people because you have no idea how angry they will be with you or how hurt they might be. So... I just wanted to explain that to everyone because when I bottle up anger, I become extremely depressed and that is a very bad thing for me, for anybody really. So, yeah, like, think about what you're going to be saying about people to other people. And if you're not going to be brave enough to come to me or that person and tell them face to face exactly what your issue is, Shut your trap and leave it alone!